New England Patriots will go to the Buffalo Bills on Sunday in NFL Week 13 action. For those who are talking about how Tom Brady was finished and that the Patriots defense wouldn't be able to stop anyone after the second week, Brady is having another spectacular season and that defense has held opponents to 17 points or less in seven straight games. Most importantly for betters, New England has covered six of their last seven games, including covering a whopping 17 points last week, and they're a legitimate contender to repeat as Super Bowl champs. On the flip side are the Buffalo Bills. They just got a big win over the spiraling Chiefs last week to break a three-game slide. After the Peterman disaster, it seems that Buffalo will continue to go with Tyrod Taylor. When the Patriots get going, they really get going. As usual, it all starts with Tom Brady who looked great once again completing 18 of 28 passes. He may have just racked up 227 yards, but he made them count with four touchdown passes. Don't let the fact that he threw an interception throw you off. Brandon Cooks hauled in six of seven targets for 83 yards and a score, while Rob Gronkowski caught five of his eight targets for 82 yards and a pair of touchdowns. It was also a big day for Rex Burkhead who not only ran for 50 yards on 13 carries while adding a touchdown, he also caught both of his targets for three yards, but more importantly, another score. With Buffalo allowing 241 passing yards per game and 6.9 yards per completion, the Patriots passing game looks poised to have more success. New England ran the ball 38 times for 196 yards last week. Incredibly, they had six different guys carry the rock, although it was Burkhead and Lewis getting 28 of those rushes. Lewis had 15 carries for an impressive 112 yards. This is one of a couple of areas where New England has an edge. Buffalo allows 116 and a half yards per game on the ground and four yards per carry. God have mercy on the Bills if they fall behind early as the New England defense is very unlikely to let them back in. The Buffalo Bills are now six and five and right in the middle of the wildcard mix. They can do with more consistency and they need to seal up those leaks in the defense, but making their first playoff appearance since 1999 is not out of the question. Of course, having to face a red hot Patriots team is definitely an obstacle. And even worse is that the Bills need to face them once more this year. Obviously, the Bills are going to need to come up with their biggest offensive effort of the year. And it all starts with LaShawn McCoy. The Bills will almost certainly need to get on the board early. The defense will also need to play over their heads and putting the two together is a tall order. Tyrod Taylor is coming off a decent, albeit unspectacular, outing in which he completed 19 of 29 passes for 183 yards and a touchdown against a leaky Kansas City defense. LaShawn McCoy did not have a great game, but he is capable of finding holes and a few should open up for him in week 13. Taylor will need to keep his head on a swivel with such a scary New England pass rush but at least he's agile and has the ability to scramble. Buffalo's passing game should be motivated by the fact that New England gives up a lot of yards through the air. Sure, that's mainly a product of teams playing from behind, but they also give up 7.6 yards per completion. We also need to put Buffalo's last four defensive efforts into perspective. They went into Kansas City and held the Chiefs to just 10 points, but let's face it, the Chiefs were pathetic in that game. In the previous three games, Buffalo allowed 54, 47, and 34 points against. As expected, the early money has backed the Patriots and the line rose to Patriots minus 10. It has since settled out at minus 9 with sharp money coming in on the Bills. The Patriots will likely be one of the most teased teams this weekend, so expect this line to hold steady now. With New England's recent scoring prowess and the Bills' recent defensive woes, we like the possibility of a high-scoring game. If you can trust the bill to put up 17 points at home against the Patriots, then the over 48 and a half seems well within reach. Our pick and prediction is for the New England Patriots at minus nine and over the total of 48 points.